All right, guys, here I'm going to show you how to pack a column uh, for your column chromatography of fluorine from fluorinone. So I have my column set up here, and I've got a funnel up at the top. I've wrapped the column in some glass wool just to give it a little bit more um, bulk to it because the clamp was a little bit too big. And right now I have it just over um, a waste beaker. So we're not collecting any fractions right now. We're just packing the column. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill up the column with hexanes. I want to keep the top level below the level of the funnel so I can keep an eye on where that top level is. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some hexane. And my meniscus is right up here at the top, I can see it. So keeping the stop clock closed, I'm going to start adding the alumina to the column. I'm going to add it slowly while kind of tapping it with my finger. This is to ensure that as the alumina falls to the bottom of the column, no air bubbles are in there. You want to keep an eye on the meniscus and drain some out as the alumina displaces the hexane. We don't want the hexane to go into the funnel. So I'm just going to start draining some out. Make sure you keep a whole a hot a handle on your column as you turn the stopcock. The stopcock is really tight and the column is very fragile. So just make sure you grasp it very carefully when you open this. So I'm going to continue adding my alumina, keeping an eye on the meniscus. Right now I kind of have a clog, so I'm going to grab a spatula, trying to force that alumina in. Alright, so my clog is taken care of. All of the alumina is falling in. My meniscus has risen again, so I'm going to empty out some of the hexane that's in there. going until you get all of the about four and a half grams of alumina into the column.
I want to wash down all this stuck alumina that's up here at the top. So first I'm going to force it down via spatula. And then I'm going to rinse it down with hexane. Right here is the top of our alumina column, which is exactly how it should look. We want it to be approximately 10 centimeters up from the bottom of the column, and I'm at about 8 centimeters, and that's good enough for me. So that is how you pack a column.